I love my indie brands and this time Adept Cosmetics collaborated with Amy Loves Makeup here on YouTube and I could not help myself. I love Adept, they have such beautiful shimmers. Amy Loves is just so creative and so sweet. I've been following her for years. I love this, I'm so happy for her. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take a melt brush, this is an 818, and I'm gonna pick up the shade 1997, which happens to be Amy Love's birthday and the year that I went to go see Titanic in theaters. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna start by building this up in the outer corner before bringing it into my crease. Yeah, oh my gosh, holy moly. I was a teenager and I went to go see Titanic. That had a very profound effect on me at the time. Everybody loved it, Miss Celine Dion. Yep, that song still holds a special place in my heart no matter how much it was overplayed. I'm going to get all of this off my brush first. I'm dipping back in just to kind of build it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to circular motions through my crease. I like to tilt my head back and look down into my mirror so that I can get closer to this bone. And then that way, most of my mobile lid isn't covered in this shadow. I'm gonna switch brushes now and pick up a Makeup, Makeup Forever brush and pick up that same shade and bring that around my lower lash line. And because I'm very sensitive to anything on my lower lash line, I like to gently just sweep it. And then if I can, back and forth. This is okay so far. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Intensifies stick here and just kind of create a sticky base for our shimmers. This is probably gonna be the easiest look I've ever done because heaven knows I have to make everything complicated. I'm gonna take an E58 from Sigma and I'm gonna go into this shade Glam because it's so glamorous. Hopefully I don't have to wet my brush. I'm hoping with this Pat McGrath base that, whoa, it's kind of a, a bit of a pink shift to it. What? Aww. Oh my. Wait a minute, I have almost every single Adept Cosmetics palette and I don't think I've come across a shadow like this in those palettes. Amy, holy moly. Look at that. I'm just gonna pat over this edge here. And I'm gonna bring my brush into my socket to kind of help create a bit of that carved look. Impressive. That's like molten hot liquid metal. I'm smitten, smitten like a little kitten. Holy moly. I'm gonna take a Game Beauty brush and pick up the shade pink right on the tip of the brush here. I'm gonna use this for my lower lash line. I'm so smitten by that shade Glam. I just, I can't take it. I'm gonna take the shade Floral on a Sigma E36 brush right around the tip of it. I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone. And I'm also going to pick it up one more time and bring it very gently into the crease of my inner third. I'm gonna leave this here where it's at. It's probably the simplest look I've ever done. I'm gonna do a liner. 
and hopefully not mess this up. <laughs> and I cannot do it on camera, so two shakes. Well, it took a minute, but we got here. The lashes I'm using are the Kiss Wide Slacks lashes, and I just use a black liner. I also used my Danessa Myricks Line Work Eyeliner. This liner is one of my favorites, but I think Lisa Eldridge is still a little bit easier to use. I know I only used four shades out of here, but holy moly, I'm honestly smitten with the look that I created. It's one of the easiest looks I have ever done, ever. I don't think I've made a look easier than this in a very long time. And I wanted to go ahead and do two looks with this, but what I think I'm gonna do is just get this video uploaded and then create two to three more looks in a follow-up video just because this is just too pretty to take off, but also, I'm also tired. <laughs> I love this. This shade Glam is absolutely stunning. I just genuinely thought it was a silver chrome. It's got a pink undertone to it, which is just so molten and gorgeous. It's breathtaking. I did not think this was gonna look the way it does. I did forget to mention the lipstick I'm using is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the shade Red Carpet Red. And this is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet number 0200. And anytime I get to wear a red, I just feel so happy and complete. Amy just got engaged a couple days ago, I think it was, or maybe it was a week or two ago. So congratulations to Amy. This palette, also congratulations for this collaboration, is stunning. You did an amazing job. I don't have thoughts as far as how I would feel about this palette, what would make this palette best for me because it's not my palette. So in all honesty, I wouldn't change anything because this is how Amy wanted it. So it doesn't make any sense for me to say, oh, I wish I had this, this, or this. But I love it all together for the color story. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to create a couple more looks with this. But honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna top the one that I'm wearing right now. As for everything else that's on my face, I will have it linked down below. I am trying a new foundation. This is actually the second time I'm wearing this foundation. Forehead still needs a little bit of work, but I'm blown away. Those links are affiliated. If you click on those links, I do earn a small commission, so thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.